Hey guys, this is Archon, and welcome to Inferno Friday. This week we're going to be talking about some potentially leaked patch notes, as well as the expected release date for 1.0.4. A little hint, for most of the people who watch this video, the patch has already come out. We're also going to be talking about this new Paragon system that might exist, um, a potential critical mass nerf that you might have heard about, and we're going to do our weekly item giveaway. And at the end, I'm also going to tell you about the giveaway I'll be doing once I hit 5k subs. So 1.0.4 is in the works and it should be out soon. Like I said, for a lot of you guys, it's already out. Uh, but just recently, Diablo fans has come out with some unofficial patch 1.0.4 changes. Uh, they've kind of gone through Blizzard's code and found some things that look like their updates and it looks pretty legit. So Again, it's not necessarily official, but it looks like these are going to be the changes, and they do correspond to some of the things that Blizzard has given us. So I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to this post on Diablo Fan, so you can look at it for yourself, but I just want to go over it now. This just came out today, and they've been updating it all day. Again, today is Saturday. Again, I must apologize, by the way. I usually make these videos on Friday, but I've been out of town. I was in Cancun for the week. That's why I haven't done a video yet, and that's why this video is coming out a little late. But I will be back making videos now that I'm back in town. Now, a lot of this stuff that they found on Diablo fans was already revealed by Blizzard in their patch previews. So let's take a look at that first, and then we'll see what else other new information we can find from Diablo fans' new post. So you might have seen recently Blizzard posted these patch previews. They did one for each class, and then they did one for legendary items. Um, so we can look at the wizard one first, and then we'll look at the legendary items as well. So the big buzz about the wizard update is the critical mass nerf. And there's a lot of opinions going around as to whether it's really going to be a nerf or not. So let's read what that is. Uh, keep in mind, though, most of the changes they're making are buffs. And that goes uh, throughout all the classes, not just wizards. So here we go. It's under the section called Trigger Happy. And I'll put a link to this post if you guys want to read it. Now, as you guys know, Critical Mass is the most popular wizard build. And one of the biggest reasons it's so good is because Energy Twister procs Critical Mass as well as Life on Hit and, um, and Arcane Power on Crit. And that's what keeps you going. Well, they're changing the proc coefficient from 25% to 12.5%. And if you guys don't know what that means, it's the chance that anything's going to proc when the skill ticks. So Energy Twister ticks a lot, so it only procs 25% of the time. In other words, if you get 10 crits, on average, two or three of them are actually going to trigger critical mass. In other words, 25% of them are going to trigger critical mass, life on hit, or arcane power on crit. And that's just because you're getting so many ticks, they had to nerf it a little bit. Well, they're nerfing it even more. It's going to be cut in half. So that means your energy twister, which has given you most of your ticks, is going to be giving you half as many cooldown reductions, and arcane power, and life on hit. And that sounds like a pretty serious nerf to me. Uh, they say if you have enough crit, it's still going to work, but uh, they say for those with extremely high crit rates, you might not even notice much difference, but I want to call it out anyway. I don't know. I, I find it hard to believe we're not going to notice a big difference. Uh, that being said, I think it did need a nerf. I mean, let's be honest. Critical Mass is a pretty awesome build, and it's not too hard to get the gear for, and so I think most of us knew this nerf was coming, and that being said, it's not too bad. It doesn't look like it's going to kill Critical Mass, but I, I really find it hard to believe that you're not going to feel it. Because if, if you're like me, energy twisters are giving you more than half of your ticks. And cutting down those procs in half, it's going to be significant. But then again, this is only speculation. The patch should be coming out soon, and then we'll know for sure. Now, everything else they're doing with wizards seems like a buff. Uh, they're buffing all the hydras to be as good as venom hydra. They say venom hydra should only be the best if the enemies are standing still for long periods of time. If they're moving at all, it might be lightning. If they're in a group, it's going to be arcane. And they kind of go over that in the post too, if you want to read that. And then there's uh, some other skills that will be buffing. They're going to be buffing Meteor and Arcane Torrent. These are two skills that aren't really used much. Uh, maybe with this damage buff to Meteor, it might be a viable replacement for Energy Twister. As you know, Meteor can give you a lot of ticks, especially if you're using 
Meteor Shower or Star Pack to reduce the arcane uh, cost. And then it leaves a, uh, for three seconds it ticks on the ground. So not as many ticks as Energy Twister, but if the proc coefficient's a lot better, then it might be worth it to try out Meteor. But on my stream, once 1.0.4 comes out, we're going to be trying a bunch of different builds to try to come up with some viable new ways to use critical mass if Energy Twister is nerfed too hard. So please check it out, twitch.tv. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. So the second thing the Blizzard revealed that I want to go over is his legendary item improvements. And I really think you should read this. I'll put a link in the description for it. And they go over some of these legendary items. They're already in the game. They're getting revamped. It won't be retroactive. So your current legendaries are just, just going to suck. But the new ones are going to be awesome. So it might be worth farming once we get in there. So they give some examples like uh, the lidless wall will give you a chance to be shielded when hit by enemies uh, the tormentor gives you a 31 percent chance to charm enemies when you hit them and by the way there's hundreds of these out there that are already leaked and we'll go over some more of them I'll show you where you can get a big list of them um, firewalkers burns the ground you walk on in other words you get the molten affix that monsters have when you're wearing these boots uh, these pants occasionally make you stink which they explain is the same thing that gome does uh, during his boss fight. So almost all legendary items are getting some really big buffs. They mentioned like Helm of Command is already really good. It won't be getting buffs. But pretty much they want to make it so all legendary items really are legendary. And so this sounds like a really good thing. It's going to be a lot more exciting finding a legendary. And this applies to crafted ones as well. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of crafting going on. Okay, so now over to Diablo fans. As I said, they go in a little bit more detail because they've pulled some information that Blizzard has not released yet. And one of the things that they say from what, what they found from Blizzard, is that they think the patch is going to be coming out this next Tuesday, August 21st. So if you're watching this after then, you'll know if that's true or not. Uh, but it looks like it's definitely going to be coming out either on the 21st or the 28th. So uh, that's pretty exciting. Get ready for some legendary farming, guys. Uh, but yeah, some of the things that go on here, they talk about Paragon levels. This is something that Blizzard has not announced yet. Diablo fans just found this in Blizzard's coding. And it looks like what's going to happen is once you hit max level, you can start leveling up these Paragon levels. And as you get more levels, your gold find and magic find will increase. And there's also a rumor out there that every 500 elite kills, once you've hit max level, will give you a guarantee guaranteed legendary drop that's bind to your account. And it looks like uh, they found some some, I'm sorry, error messages that go along with that and kind of confirm that that's what's going on. Now again, Blizzard hasn't released, hasn't announced it, so we don't know for sure if that's what's going on, but it looks like they might be doing something like that, which would kind of give some incentive to keep farming after you get more tired, because um, your drops should get better and better the more you farm. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, let's see, what else they talk about in here? They have a big list of legendaries. These are the new legendary procs. It just has the name of the legendary and the proc they're adding to it. And it even has the percent chance. They actually just updated that. And like I said, they're updating this all the time. This just got posted earlier today. So if you go check it out now, there's probably some new things that aren't covered in this video right here. Um, further in, they go into some class changes. You can read the Barbarian or getting Bash and Cleave uh, buffed. You could also find that in Blizzard's post, but there's some more specific detail on here. Whirlwind's getting a damage increase. Uh, Demon Hunter's getting a lot of buffs in there. I don't think any real nerfs. Uh, I haven't read through the monks. Witch Doctor has some cool stuff. Uh, I can't go through all this. It would just be too long a video, but please check it out. Check it out on Diablo Fans and on Battle.net. A big thing with Witch Doctor is they're changing Vision Quest, the one that gives you 300% mana regen when you have four spells on cooldown which I thought was a really annoying mechanic, and apparently Blizzard agreed. It's now just going to give you 30% mana uh, re regeneration when you use certain spells. But they're giving all Witch Doctors like over twice the natural mana regeneration. So that's a huge buff to, to Witch Doctors. Resources can be coming back over twice as fast. Instead of 20 per second, I think it's 45 per second now. So it's crazy. Witch Doctors hopefully will be a bit more buff after this patch. Um, and the Wizards... They have uh, a lot more detail on here about how they're buffing each of the spells and how much they're buffing it by. They're buffing um, some of the Spectral Blade runes. They're buffing Shock Pulse and some of its runes. Electrocute. Um, some of the Diamond Skin runes. Of course, the Hydras, like we said before. Um, Archon. They're, they're buffing a few of those runes. The Slow Time and Arcane Destruction. This is my favorite, though. This looks like it might be viable in the Critical Mass build. It's... T 
teleport the Calamity Rune that used to make it so you'd do 75% weapon damage when you poured it in, and now it's going to be 265% weapon damage. So that's that's almost as much damage as Explosive Blast. I actually think it's about the same amount of damage as Explosive Blast when you're not doing Chain Reaction. And I think that's awesome, because mixed with Critical Mass, you could use that as an attack, just teleporting all over the place, doing a ton of damage, and getting some more crits. And I don't know what the proc coefficient is going to be on it, but I'm excited to test that out and see if it's viable. So that's it for the patch updates. Again, the links are in the description. You guys should check it out. Some really cool stuff. And hopefully this Tuesday, it's, uh, it's three days away right now, we'll be able to test this out. And we're going to be doing that a lot on the Twitch stream, like I said before. So now, let's go ahead and do the item giveaway. So I already went through, did the random number generator, randomly picked a comment from last week, and the winner is Blu-ray Sun. I'll put that up on the screen there. And Blue Ray Sun wanted the barb pants. So those are these pants right here. I've set them aside for him. They had over 120 strength, 120 bite, and 69 all resist. Some pretty nice barb pants. So like I said, I was out of town last week. I didn't get to do a lot of farming, and so I didn't have a new item to add to the giveaway. But we still have five pretty good items. Well, at least four of them are pretty good. So I'm going to show you guys five items here. And if any of them are an upgrade for you, you can leave something in the comments. Let me know which item you would like. And then I'm going to randomly pick one comment, and I'll give that person whatever item they asked for. So the first one we have on here is a Magic Find Helm. It gives you a total of 41% Magic Find. You could gem it for even higher if you wanted to. And 66 All Resist. These are my old shoulders right here, 7 Sins. I'll give you a ton of all the primary stats. 81 Bite, 59 All Resist. That's good for everyone, just like that Magic Find Helm. We have some Glass Cannon Demon Hunter Gloves. These have 143 Dex. 32 crit damage, 8% crit chance, really good for Glass Cannon Demon Hunter. We have this belt, this is one I said isn't that great, but um, if you're looking a barb looking for a lot of damage, it has 191 strength, which is awesome on a belt. Uh, just no all resist, it's the one big problem with it. And then we have this amulet, this is my old amulet, it has a ton of int, 217, a little bit of all resist, 250 armor, great for an amulet, and 7.5 uh, crit chance, so it's a good critical mass amulet, or really any wizard amulet. So again, if you want any of those items, go ahead and leave a comment in the description. You must be on a US server, unfortunately, but let me know what item you want. And if you're randomly chosen, you'll get that item. So just one more thing before the end of the video. I want to announce the 5K sub giveaway. I have a video about it. I'll put up an annotation. But once I get 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway. And the big prize, the grand prize, is going to be any item on the Real Money Auction House. And that goes up to 250 USD. So, really big giveaway. I'm really excited about that. So, please, if you haven't subscribed already, do that. Leave a comment if you'd like one of these items. And I'll have another video for you shortly. Thanks for watching.